Good Monday morning to you. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Markich, and this is your outlook for March 16th, 2015. And for parts of our area, we're going to have a very warm day today. Uh, the rest of the area is going to be pretty much near normal. I'm going to draw a line here where I think they're going to have a, storm, uh, a warmer surge of above normal temperatures, and it's pretty much going to be uh, anywhere southwest of this line here that I'm drawing. Anywhere northeast of there should still be. Uh, this is probably near normal temperatures right here, and these are going to be above normal temperatures on this side of this line here. So, uh, warm surge coming in from the southwest here, uh, not going to quite make it all the way up into uh, into our northeastern portions of our coverage area here, uh, but uh, we'll still have warm air in the uh, region across the, uh, across the area nonetheless, at least near normal uh, for the areas for the northeast. And here's a look at the NAM High Res Future Simulated. Uh, temperature regime here for Monday afternoon at the highest point and you can see um, mid to upper 50s up in this region right here that I'm uh, outlining here so here anywhere north uh, southwest of that line is well above normal temperatures uh, temperatures in the, uh, in the 70s up here in northern Virginia so this is trying to make its way in here but it's kind of run into a brick wall here where it's not going to be able to get too far uh, and it does get into the mid to upper 50s here across uh, the lower Susquehanna Valley all the way over to about Lancaster County, Berks County, places like that. But once you get up to, you know, Philadelphia, up to the Lehigh Valley, up to Scranton and places like that, it's going to stay back to near normal temperatures for this time of year. Nothing too crazy as far as temperatures are concerned, but it will feel mild uh, across uh, even those areas that are not getting into the well above normal temperature regime. As we get into the following day on Tuesday, we're going to go a little bit further here. And show you what's going on here on Tuesday. Uh, we're going to have a cold front moving in from the northwest here. Could have some shower activity come in here uh, as early as the uh, overnight hours here, the pre dawn hours here on Tuesday morning. Uh, and then they're going to settle across, across the rest of the area, it looks like, here uh, for the rest of the morning here. Now, the temperatures down to the south here are going to be still pretty warm here because we're going to have, uh, we're going to be on the northern side of the front here. Of course, the frontal boundary at this point is situated like this. And here's your very low pressure sitting up here in New England. This is actually moving off to the southeast. This cold front is so out ahead of it, you get the showers. But the really warmer temperatures are going to be down here. And if you look at uh, look at the temperatures for the following day, you can see that here on the NAM here showing all the concentration of the 60 degree temperatures here, pretty much south of the Mason Dixon line, uh, but also you know, across uh, parts of our coverage area here in southern New Jersey and Delaware. So. Uh, areas up further north that are under the rain showers. This is all in the middle here. This is all near normal temperatures for this time of year. And of course, uh, behind the front, we're getting the snow showers. Of far northern Pennsylvania, uh, temperatures are in the lower 30s and obviously below normal. Going a little bit further from this point, we're going to go into uh, into later in the day evening on uh, Thursday or excuse me Tuesday, and you'll see the front is now moving off to the southeast here, and it clears the area here, and uh, all the precipitation that was associated associated with it has cleared also. 32 degree line here at midnight on Tuesday night is situated down here uh, to the south, so we will have below freezing temperatures here coming in behind this frontal boundary as it pushes off to the south uh, southeast here. And then we're going to look for our next chance of precipitation that's going to come in here, uh, looks like on Thursday night and early Friday. Now there's going to be a high pressure system moving across the area here early on Thursday. Uh, still going to be chilly here on Thursday as well. And as we get into uh, the overnight hours on Thursday night, uh, you can see what the, the models are starting to do. They're starting to bring in an area of, of, of precipitation over our area. And areas to the northwest side of this uh, area of low pressure are showing both evaporational and dynamic cooling enough to get it some snow up here. Uh, to give some snow up into uh, areas northwest of I-95 mainly. Now there's a lot of, uh, lot of model disagreement on these of how much precipitation is involved, how much cold air is involved with this system here on Friday. But... Uh, the GFS and the Canadian models have both been insistent on showing at least some snow here. Uh, we'll have a difficulty ac accumulating if it is falling during the day on on uh, Friday, especially on non-paved surfaces. Not expecting any non-paved surface accumulations during the day with that March sun being so strong. Uh, but if we do have any snow falling, you could have some grassy accumulations, non-paved surface accumulations, uh, especially if this starts a little bit earlier on Friday morning. If this does start in the pre-dawn hours, and you can get a, a, a little bit of ground cover, a little uh, bit of snow cover before the sun comes up, it'll it'll bode well for you during the day if you get that starting at that uh, overnight as opposed to starting during the day. Starting the day, 
Uh, you're probably going to have snow going over to rain. So there's a lot of different scenarios going on here uh, for areas northwest of I-95. Areas southeast, I don't think you're getting into any precipitation other than rain, but we will have to watch that just in case. And then, of course, uh, we're going to stay uh, cold through as we get through the weekend here. The GFS is trying to throw another system in here for Saturday night and Sunday. Uh, let's get a little bit ahead of us here and getting outside of our six-day forecast window. But we will have to keep an eye on both of, this, both of these systems here. The, one of these two systems... Uh, at least one of these two systems could produce either uh, Thursday night and Friday and again Saturday night and Sunday will have two opportunities for at least some precipitation. Not sure yet whether we're dealing with snow or rain or both depending on where you live. We'll narrow that down as we get a little bit closer. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marchers and that is your outlook for March 16th, 2015. Have a great Monday.